going back to my son, the soldier, uh, his first week was a little rough, uh, and rough on me too. <laughs> he called me from the toilet. Okay, he wasn't. I don't know if he's allowed to have a phone or not, but they didn't have much time. He said, "Whatever you imagine the soldiers doing, we did. We stood. We marched. We." cleaned a gun, we moved a gun around, he said everything, and we had to do it fast, and we had to eat fast, and we had to do this fast, he said, but, he said, the good news is the food's good, uh, he went to a boarding school last year, and that was not the case, but he says the army feeds him well, the army likes to feed him well, and he likes to eat well, he said it's not as good as home, he said, but it's good food, but the big dilemma was, uh, my, we have chosen to opt out of vaccinations, uh, I had them, uh, as a kid, I didn't react well to them. Uh, I had an innate suspicion that stabbing somebody and pouring stuff that you don't know what you're pouring into their body is not good for them. When I got into chiropractic college, I got looking at the immunizations, and I got looking at the transfer materials and everything in them, and I thought, mm, I don't like what it does. I don't like that they don't believe in homeopathy, but they take a the little bit of homeopathy, and then they use it generally for everybody. Take a little bit of something and inject it into everybody, but they don't check the people to see whether or not they're valid candidates because they say everybody's a valid candidate and I don't believe that about anything. So we've chosen not to vaccinate and uh, so he called me and he said they're calling me the weak link. They'll say that, you know, they're saying that I'm going to be the weak link if I don't get vaccinated and if I don't do this and I don't do that. And so I was then having sleepless nights. I had him in jail being stabbed and them making, but we went to the website and said they can't. They absolutely they can encourage it. They can uh, harass him, which they did do. But they can't force anybody to have vaccinations. I still, if I could take it back, which I can't, wouldn't have them. I'm happy that we didn't have, we're doing some homeopathic vaccinations with our older kids. But but I'm so proud of him. And then he withstood the storm. Right? When he finally came home, both of us relaxed. We talked a bit. And he said, you know, can you write me a letter? And I said, well, I'll write you a letter that we might do it homeopathically. Well, he forgot the letter, oddly enough. You know, just as synchronous, odd things go, he forgot to take the letter back. And when he did take it back, well, he did not take it back, sorry. When he got back there, then he texts me. You know, that thing the kids do now? I've got up on it. I can even text on my own telephone. And he texted me and said, it's okay. They weren't happy, but they quit harassing me. Because legally... You can do whatever you want. This is your body. There is all kinds of pressure from all over the place that the vaccination is good, the vaccination is is supposed to do something to you. If you read and look at what the impact of vaccinations really are and you use your head, you may choose not to have them, but that's your choice. See what I mean? I've had my kids around me. I've taken care of their health, right? So I feel comfortable in not vaccinating them. If you're going to not vaccinate your children, you're going to have to take care of them. You're going to have to them eat good food, and you're going to have to watch out for them. If you want to vaccinate, that's your business. If you don't want to vaccinate, that's your business. I'm telling you, there's going to come a point in life when it becomes a little iffy. But my kids are doing great. They're strong, they're beautiful, and they're not vaccinated. Maybe they're the weak link, weak link but that's how things are. www.micpeakperformance. Uh, if you want to copy my book, it's Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. Talk to you soon.